Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these Christmas candle seed beads earrings. I'm showing them easy and step by step and I'm providing a free pattern so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. You will find it below in description. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are five colors of 11 seed beads white red green orange and yellow these are earring findings this is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size d this is size 11 beading needle this is a free pattern of a candle that i provide and we're going to be using during the tutorial and these are scissors and now i'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and i'll be back okay guys and this is my christmas candle pattern and i'm gonna be using but i will turn it in this direction because i will use brick stitch for it if i use it in this direction i should use out a stitch but now i'm gonna be showing it with brick stitch that is why i'm starting from here from these three seed beads and the first three beads are green red and green and first i take green and red i always start with two beads i slide those down and i leave here a small tail that i'll use later to finish my work and i go through the green bead when i pull i have a loop between my beads they go next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction and then i go through the red one after that i take one green and go backwards through the red one and then backwards through the same green i pull and you see now my beads are next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction but i'm not satisfied how they sit that is why i'm going through them one more time to make them stay nice and flat next to each other okay let me consult with my pattern again okay i just did this row now i'm exiting out of this bead and i will start the next row the next row consists of two green beads and one red bead i always start with first with two beads if i decrease from this side i mean the beads are a little bit to the inner side from here i will go under the second bridge that i have here between my beads so this is the first one and this is the second one and I'm going under the second one because this green bead, according to my pattern, goes to the inner side compared to this one. That is why I'm going through the second thread bridge. But if you are not familiar with it, don't worry because I will show it really easy and step by step. Okay, then I go back through the first green and then I go through this green as well. Okay. And then, as I said, this row consists of two greens and one red. And how I add this red? I don't have any more thread bridges. That is why I'm going to use the last thread bridge, the second thread bridge, one more time. And go under it with this red one. Okay, now I have this. Let me consult with my pattern. Okay, I have this green, red, green two greens and one red and this goes to the inner side here i have another three green beads i'm exiting from this red so i need to take first two greens and then one more green and you see this green is sticking out here and because this green is sticking out 
when I take these two beads I will go under the first thread bridge because you know if I go to, under the second it will go to the inner side and I want this to stick out from this side this is how my pattern goes my pattern goes and then I go through the one which is closer to the center of my work now I don't need this additional reinforcement because my beads don't stretch they go through the first thread bridge so they don't stretch and as I said according to my pattern here I need one more of those beautiful green beads okay my friends now I want to do an additional step I want to go here and here zigzagging through my beads and I want to exit from this green bead I will take my pattern and I'll tell you why I'm doing it okay I'm now I'm exiting out of this green and I want to start another longer row and I want to start it from from here from this bead first I take a green and a red because I always start with a green and a red and and you see when I take them the green bead is sticking out of my work that is why I'm going through the first thread bridge here and then I go through the bead which is closer to the center which in this case is the red one okay let me see what's coming up next okay I just added this green and this red and just like before I take one red bead I go under the next thread bridge and there are 10 red beads in total here in this row I already added two okay this is the third one and because I'm out of thread bridges I'm gonna be adding it here under the same thread bridge that I added my previous bead okay and I pull okay and now guys I want seven more red beads and I'm gonna be adding them one by one here in the same way that I added my first row so I'm adding this one and I'm going backwards through it another one and let me show you another one okay and let me see how many I added one two three four five six if I have six then I need to add four more beads to be ten in total and I'll be back okay my friends and as I continued beading here I have one green and ten red beads okay and let me consult with my pattern again okay I'll flip it in the same direction as in the beginning because when I work I'm always turning it the way it's easier for me always turn your work the way it's easier so I just added this row one green and ten red beads and now I need to start the next row which is this one and how I do this here I need to add two red beads at this point here at the edge okay and then I will continue with orange and two yellows okay how I do this I remove this for a while and you see I'm here so I need to go in the neighbor bead okay I'm here in the neighbor bead now and as I'm here guys I want to add two red beads as I said okay and how I add them I want to add them here at the first thread bridge that I have because one of them will be sticking out of my work this is what my pattern says then I go through this bit which is closer to the center of my work and then I go again through this bit okay 
and as I said here I need one orange and two yellow beads so I take one orange and I go backwards through this red one then I go back through this orange and I take a yellow one then again I go backwards through this orange and again through this yellow and I take one yellow and I go back like this then I want to make a little bit of reinforcement here I will be just zigzagging through my beads and here as I reach the last yellow I want to zigzag through my beads and I want to reinforce this joint here that I have and here I don't like that these beads are not connected to each other that is why I will go one more time through them and then backwards like this okay now let me turn it the way uh, my pattern goes because I turn it all the time the way it's easier for me now I'm going to take my pattern again and now I'm here after this red bead I just added these two yellows this orange and these two red beads and now it's time to add a white a red a white a red a white a red a white a red and a green so four times white red and one green bead okay I'm showing a white and a red three more times white and red and one green and I'll meet you here add them one by one just the way I showed you before and then I as I said again a white and a red a white and a red a white and a red and here at the end at a green one okay now I take my pattern and I'm here at the widest central row I started with a green and a red and because it is sticking out I will go under the first thread bridge okay green and red then first thread bridge go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work of those two that I added then I take my pattern again 
so I'm here after this green and this red so I need white red white red white red white red so it's four times white red then red orange and three yellows okay I'll add them one by one you could pause on this pattern and add those beads from here on until the end pause it add them and I'll meet you at this point okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row okay I add it like this and then like this now as I am at this part I want to take an earring finding and I'm going backwards through this yellow bead and I will reinforce this joint several times I also want to go here in this direction okay because I don't like how here I have a gap between those beads that is why I'm going backwards from this one to this one to reduce this gap if you don't like something just go ahead and reinforce it guys now I'm going to consult with my pattern and for my next row I need to add two yellow beads and one orange and because they go to the to the inner side when I take these two yellows I will go under the second thread bridge so I take two yellow beads and as I'm exiting here this is the first thread bridge and this is the second one and I want to go through the second one and then through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and because my beads stretch a little bit as they go through the second thread bridge I want to reinforce them and make them stay in a better shape okay just like this you see then as I said I need orange bead after that this is my candle flame with the orange in the beginning and yellow at the end okay then I want to consult with my pattern and I'm here at this orange then what I need is red white red white red white red white so it's four times red white then two reds and one green okay pause on this pattern add those beads and I'll meet you here at this point okay and I'm ready with this row I hope you paused on the pattern and did it now let me see what is the next row and the next row is this one which consists of green and red so it's one green and ten red beads so I start with a green and a red and because this row goes a little bit outside of my work I go under the first thread bridge here and then through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and now guys as I said it's not difficult at all now you need to add nine more red beads add them one by one and I'll meet you here at this point okay my friends and I just finished this row and now what I want to do is zigzag through my beads And 
I reach this part guys where I'm ready co to continue with the, the other green part of my pattern okay now let me see where I am one two three four five six seven I'm exiting out of the seven bit in this direction one two three four five six seven this is the seventh one okay I'm here and now what I want to do is to add four green beads, these four here. And I start again with two greens. And compared to this bead where I am, these two greens go to the inner side. That is why when I take these two greens, I go through the second thread bridge of where I'm exiting out of. Okay, this is the first and this is the second one. So I go through the second because they go to the inner side. And when I go through the second thread bridge and I decrease, I always reinforce because my beads stretch. They go further away from where I am, so they stretch and need to be reinforced. I need another green bead go under the next thread bridge and another green bead because if you remember from the pattern I need four green beads here okay four of them now again I'm going to consult with my pattern here I have four greens and they are already added and here I need red, green, red, green. And I start with red and green. And this goes to the inner side compared to this bit where I'm exiting out of. So when I take them, I go through the second thread bridge of where I'm exiting. I'm exiting here one and second. And what I do when I go under the second one, I reinforce And again red and green. I have one thread bridge here left guys. That is why when I add the red one, I also add the green one at the same thread bridge. Here. At this point. And let me do, guys, the last part of my pattern, these three green beads. And I'm exiting here. These two, first two greens, I take them and I go under the, the first thread bridge because they stick out from where I'm exiting. So I take them. I go under the first thread bridge. I don't reinforce because they don't stretch and here I need only one green bead okay and I want to do an additional step that is not obligatory but probably you'd like to do this to make your work uh, look smoother okay and it is to go like this through these um, last beads and make something like a curve with the three beads you add it's not obligatory as I said okay and now I want to make a knot here by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling and then going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread now guys I'm going to put my needle from this side finish this part and I'll be back and I'm adding here the final touch of my candle 
these three beads that make it nice and round okay then uh, what I do is again a knot with a loop that I'm going twice through and I pull go through one or two beads in this direction you could repeat the knot if you want then I go again go through the several beads after that and then cut your thread now guys my beaded christmas candle earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't also please like share and comment in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like what i'm doing share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my facebook page i will be happy to see them and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching